I'm here at the Panasonic booth with Brian and he's about to show us some new goodies from Panasonic and this looks what is this Brian? Okay let me show you what I've got over here I'll start with the the GH5S mm -hmm. which is our low light micro four thirds body with the latest 10 to 25 unclicked 1.7 aperture cine lens with a clutch that is allows that you lens also that's a Panasonic lens in conjunction with Leica. It's made by Leica Glass oh, inside okay. Panasonic housing. Mm -hmm. So Leica supply us with their glass, as you know, well-made German glass. Yeah. And uh, we produce the lens in our housing and our electronics. Cool. So that's the GH5S, our low light 4K 60 frames a second, mm -hmm. 422 10-bit, uh, 420-10-bit internal time restriction removed cine shooter. Oh, okay. Right. So you can shoot as long, until your battery dies or your car gets full. Absolutely. As long as you've got power and yeah. memory, you can shoot on that camera. And how long does the battery last in the GH5S? Uh, exactly. I can't give you an exact time, but you're getting like an hour, an hour and a half out of a battery. Depends on the usage. Oh, okay. And then what is this, what is this beast over here? So over here, this is our latest full frame offering. This is the S1, Panasonic Lumix S1, with its 24 to 105 millimeter lens on it. Um, this is a full frame camera. It's the top of the food chain at the moment insofar as DSC video hybrid cameras is concerned. Mm -hmm. There is no other DSC camera that can shoot a, a 60, a 4K 60 frames a second, 4 to 2 10 bit internally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it'll, ex it'll shoot externally for as long as you've got power and memory. Okay, okay. This is like really, really, I've never heard of the S1. Yes. When did it launch? So, you know, we are kind of a, a small company that's on the up and coming in South Africa. Uh, Panasonic, in the, in, the, in the greater scheme of things in the world, is quite a big contender when it comes to DSC cameras and full frame and whatnot. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the S1 only launched uh, at the beginning of May. Oh, so okay. May, June, okay. it's two months basically into the industry. Oh, okay. Wow, it's a badass. So you said this is a full frame camera. So it's not micro four thirds, right? No. So what kind of, you can, what is the, what is the mount? I'm, okay. I'm actually confused there. Yeah. No, no, no. So I'm glad you asked that yeah. because the mount is called the L mount. As you can see, it's written over here on my pad over here. Oh, and okay. the L mount is an alliance. It was developed by Leica in Germany, the L mount, okay. for their SL camera, the Leica SL camera. Okay. And it is now a mount that has been shared with Sigma, mm -hmm. Panasonic, and Leica. Oh. So far, so far, uh, Leica have got, I think, eight lenses in the L mount. Panasonic have got three and the fourth is a, the fourth and fifth is about to launch in the coming months mm -hmm. and uh, Sigma uh, dropped three lenses last week and they also have a MC21 which is a, uh, a L to EF adapter. So the lens system is called the L mount oh, okay. and Sigma, Panasonic and Leica are part of the L mount alliance. They're yeah. all making lenses with yeah. that mount. Yeah. And at this stage, we've got the, the lenses that I've mentioned already, mm -hmm. but Sigma have committed to uh, launching all their primes before the end of 2019. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move into their zooms in 2020. Yeah. And uh, Panasonic will have 10 lenses by the end of 2020 as well. And we've already got eight Leica lenses in the system. So I'm glad you said, one thing I picked up is that there is an adapter for this L mount. Because I was like, okay, cool. It's a cool camera, but what lenses can I put on? And can I use my own, like my old lenses? Because obviously whenever you upgrade, you want to be able to st still keep using different lenses and stuff. And then the, what type of adapters are for the L mount? Is it only EF? What if you have a Sony lens? Can you put it on? Or like different lenses? I mean, there's so many. There's, there's PL. You know, what, what, what type of adapters are in the market for this camera? So I know that Metabones will be making a PL as well as an EF mount adapter. I know that there's a Nikon adapter out there. Um, and that's currently what there is. I don't know anything about Sony adapters, yeah. but like I say, I know there's a Nikon, I know there's a Canon, and I know that there's PL. PL is obviously very big because this camera, the type of footage that it can shoot, it can give you more than 14 stops of dynamic range. And uh, if anyone knows our Panasonic Vericam, which is a highly regarded 
cine camera in yeah, the, the industry, big, yeah. Yeah. big cine camera. This camera can interchange footage with that uh, very cam. It oh. also shoots um, more than 14 stops of dynamic range. And then does it, it, does it have the same, uh, uh, what is, this comes with vlog, right? That vlog thing. This, can, this shoots vlog as well. And uh, currently the camera is available with vlog for free. It's normally a paid upgrade. Until the end of August, it's a free upgrade. So after August, you'll be paying for the vlog upgrade to this camera because it comes clean without vlog and you can add it later. But it will be a paid upgrade after August, free until the end of August. Okay. And then what is, the, I, I mean, I like the GH5 because it's, I mean, it's, it's, that's what I know of. I know the GH5, the GH4, you can get some nice smooth 120 frames per second footage in like 1080. And also I like the fact that it shoots 10 bits. You know, um, and it, you know, uh, the, 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 I think it has a flip out screen, right? It does? If you want to vlog and you, 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 it's kind of a middle range camera, you know, not like a starter, but it, it shoots really good quality footage. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to be here at Panasonic. Um, so my question was, okay, I lost it now, I had it. Fuck, what was my question? I don't remember what my question was. Something but thing about the GH5 image stabilizers, who buys this, where do we find it, who uses yes, it? Yes, 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 yes. So, okay, so I wanted to find out what is the price difference and what is, it, uh, this seems like a more cinematic, like if you're trying to shoot a movie, you know, more high-end production. And this, Maybe it is still you could. Uh, there are movies oh, shot on a GH. Filmmakers love this camera. This camera is yeah. used by so many indie filmmakers. In fact, our GH5 is the only camera that has been authorized by the BBC in Europe to supply footage to the BBC um, for use on their broadcast stations. Oh, okay. Out of all of the DSCs, mm. this is the only one that's been authorized or has been. Uh, they've looked at the specification and they've vetted it to supply them with footage. Wow, and then what is the price difference between this S1 and the GH5S? So look, you're looking at around a uh, retail price of 40,000 Rand for the body on an S1. Okay. And you're looking at on a GH5S, on a body, you're looking at not very much less. You're probably looking at about 30, 38,000 Rand. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving more or less prices here. I'm yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I don't have those figures. Um, you'd have to go to your retailer to get your price. I'm obviously the distributor of the product, so I don't set the retail price. Okay. But those are the those are the ballparks that you're working in. Around forty-two thousand rand. I think on show special currently. If I can just grab. Sure. Have a sheet. There we go. Okay. So over here, S one body only on show special at forty-one three nine five. Usually forty-seven six hundred. Okay. And a GH5S show special 38295. It's normally 43. Oh, okay. That's so nice. they're yeah. reasonably close in price. This is obviously more expensive. Yeah. Okay. But they, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for talking to us. And uh, we're going to check out more of this uh, awesome Panasonic gear. And uh, maybe we'll come back. But enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Yeah.